Managing the economic restructuring that is necessary to avoid the worst impacts of climate change will be important for workers and their families without them having a proper say in the process. It's the workers who suffer. Australia is on the front lines of the climate crisis. We have already experienced some of the fastest and most intense consequences of climate change. Most recently, during Black Summer, when much of Southeast Australia was devastated by bushfires, most Australian workers became fully aware of the threat of climate change, and this threat has only become more pressing in the time since. On current measures, Australia is trailing far behind the pack, emitting by far the most greenhouse gas emissions per capita of any of the 36 industrial countries in the OECD. Our emissions at around 22 tonnes for every Australian are almost twice as high as the OECD average. In fact, an average Australian emits four times the emissions that a Swedish person does. Transforming the economy to a sustainable footing will affect the jobs of many workers, not just those involved in the fossil fuel industry. More frequent extreme weather events will shut down workplaces or prevent workers from getting to work. This happened on a large scale during the bushfire crisis. Job losses could occur in some industries because of climate related damage. Tourism is particularly vulnerable, as tourism workers on the Great Barrier Reef and bushfire affected regions know. Drought puts pressure on rural industries with job losses, reduction in work, or changes in production and shifts. Emergency service workers will be called on to deal with destruction caused by climate disasters or health problems caused by increased heat or extreme weather. Getting to and from work may get harder during times of intense heat, when public transport systems break down. We can also identify specific workplace health and safety risks associated with climate change. The problem of climate change is global. Emissions and pollution do not respect national borders. But to address the global threat, every country must play its part. Australia has a responsibility to act and act quickly. Fossil fuel industries are often portrayed as the engine of Australia's economy. In actual fact, however, fossil fuel industries account for a very small proportion of total employment in Australia, as you can see here. Indeed, the Australian economy has created an average of 270,000 new jobs per year over the past five years. That means, in any single year, the economy produced twice as many new jobs as are employed in total in fossil fuel production and use. In that context, it is obvious that the economy is very able to reallocate employment away from fossil fuel industries. Dealing with the climate crisis presents opportunities cr to create new jobs in clean industries such as renewable energy, energy efficiency, social care, education and ecosystem restoration. But many jobs in these industries are not high quality, with insecurity and low wages common. This means workers have an interest in not only the transition to a cleaner economy, they have an interest in that transition being just, with secure, well-paying jobs. Unions and workers know that when workers' voices are not included in decisions around industrial restructuring, workers lose. Whether through privatisation, restructuring or closure, industry change in Australia has usually resulted in widespread job losses, long-term unemployment for many and community dislocation. We cannot allow action on climate change to have the same outcomes. Workers must be at the centre of decision making around the shift to a sustainable economy. For this to happen, union and worker rights must be seen as necessary components of the effort to deal with climate change. Key elements of a worker-friendly transition to a sustainable economy are the fair distribution of the costs of transition across the whole of society, putting workers at the centre of the transition to make it successful. Concerted government, business and union efforts to guarantee secure, well-paid jobs in sustainable industries that are not defined by casual, low-paid and low-skill work. Government investment and planning to ensure transitions give priority to affected workers and overcome the market failures that inhibit the transition and leave communities worse off. Active government policies to support redeployment create new jobs and provide income support and training to affected workers. Support for economic diversification of carbon intensive regions. Labour rights being fundamental to any just transition strategy and ensured by good communication with unions and workers. Public ownership of renewable energy. Improved social welfare to reduce poverty and other risks facing workers. Coordinating bodies, such as just transition authorities, being established to coordinate public and private sector activity. The opportunities that come from action to reduce the threat of climate change must produce secure, well-paid and sustainable jobs. To download the fact sheets that accompany this video, visit carmichaelcentre.org.au.